Do you remember that old game, hot potato? <laughs> Somebody passes you a potato and it's hot, so your job is to get rid of it again as quick as you can. <laughs> it occurs to me that life is like a giant game of hot potato. Only thing is, the game is rigged. Every single day we have the opportunity to start fresh and yet I think we all know what's coming and I'd argue that many of us bring it on ourselves. We just can't wait to get out of bed and check our phones and sure enough here they come. The emails, the phone calls, the text messages, the social media notifications and we just we can't stop ourselves. We've got these hot potatoes. We've got to deal with them right away and hand them all right back out and feel like we're ahead of the game but we know what's coming next. <laughs> But these, these are the little potatoes, always hot and always in place. So we do our best to be able to just deal with these on an ongoing basis while at the same time balancing our jobs and our families and hopefully ourselves. So whether we've got these things on the go or not, well now here come the other ones where all of a sudden the car breaks down or there's a service recall or you get a phone call that now your kid's in trouble at school or all of a sudden you get dumped a new procedure at work and now we've got to start to deal with these ones. No wonder we're stressed out. I think this is one of the reasons why I used to drink beer fairly regularly. I was probably telling myself that it was helping me forget all these potatoes. But you can dumb yourself down if you want. They still are piling up. So, what do we do about it? Well, like so many other things, I think it probably comes down to awareness of how many of these things that we actually want to have in the game. Do we really need to catch and then toss back out all of them? Some potatoes you can probably just let go altogether. Some you can stop from boomeranging back on you by not even tossing them into the game in the first place. Others, well, they're just part of life and some you're going to want to put into game. So in addition to the first two things I mentioned, we may have to learn how to do this a little bit better too. One last thought. Let's suppose that you knew the game was rigged. That you had to play it, but there was very little to gain by always trying to win it. If you knew that, would you play the game differently?